Well, I went camping just a little way back with a couple of high school friends. It was on a Sunday morning, one to find a church worship in. So I packed my truck and I headed on out, saw it in a cloud of dust. It was the Ebenezer Fellowship, non-denomination, Pabacostal, free will church. When I walked in, it was ready to start. Oh, that church was packed. There was only one seat in the very front row, even though I wanted the back. So I walked right down and I took a seat. Hush fell over the place. As a sweet little gray-haired woman walked up and said, Oh, I got something to say. Folks around here call me Granny, I'm as sweet as I can be. Well, I volunteer for everything, they can't make it without me. I teach Sunday school, sew and bake, while well, I even take charge of the Christmas play. There's one thing I ask in return, lesson you should learn. Don't sit in my pew, you know it belongs to me. I've been sitting right here for at least 40 years, that's the way it's gonna be. I can tell that you are new around here, so you better get one thing clear. If you know what's good for you, don't sit in my pew. Well, I walked to the back of the church and I felt it about as tall as a little old flea. One of the deacons walked up behind me and handed me a nice cold folding chair. So I sat there and I listened to the choir as he sang, I shall not be moved. And then the preacher looked right back at me and said, Now when the service is over, I want our special guest to stay for some of Granny's red velvet cake. And that's what I did. But just about the time they were going to say the blessing, I noticed I didn't have a fork. Well, I figured I'd cause enough commotion for one day, so I thought I'd just go on over to the kitchen and help myself, and that's what I did. But about that time, I found the drawer. Guess who turned me around? Yep, it was Granny. Stay out of my kitchen. It belongs to me. I've been cooking right here for at least 40 years. That's the way it's gonna be. So if you need a fork, if you need a spoon, next time stay in the other room. Boy, you better pay attention. Stay out of my kitchen. And then she reached out and kissed me on the cheek and she said, you know, Granny hopes you come back next week, but if you do, don't get my parking spot, don't sing too loud, wear a coat and tie, come early Sunday morning, but most of all, stay out of my kitchen. I can tell you are new around here, so you better get one thing clear. If you know what's good for you, stay out of my pew. And remember, Granny loves you.